than singles. Absolutely, man. I got to do it for my friends now. A very, very strong Greninja main from uh, Minnesota. Yes. One of two out there, actually, um, himself and Shinjobi. Shinjobi, yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, wow. Oh. Shinjobi. Or not just Shinjobi, excuse me. Dexter, Dexter. second in PM. He played uh, Meta Knight. Oh. No surprise there. The, uh, <laughs> wait, this is a hitbox, right? All right, yeah, man. So the new uh, Project M uh, t uh, tier list came out a couple days ago, I think. Maybe right. about a week ago. I'm not quite sure. But, uh, yeah, Meta Knight is second best character in the game. Behind Diddy Kong. Can't be Diddy. And that was the Project M Underground. Um, so, yeah, just throwing that out there. So that, that tier list is pretty uh, pretty solidified. There's no arguing that. And that's a uh, version 3.6, right? Uh, five. Oh, five? Six, okay. six would have been the new one. But, unfortunately, um, some things happened to Project okay. M. And, yeah, rest in peace, though. Pour, pour some spaghetti out for my boys. I see Mr. D uh Excuse me, Dubot talking to Freezer. Dubot just put his hands over his head like, I can't believe I just lost that last match. Mm -hmm. yeah. Those things happen, though. That they do. We still appreciate him and all of his friends coming out here. Oh, definitely, man. You, got, you, LTL, have done a wonderful job putting off one fine show Dude, this weekend. You. Man, but we couldn't have done it without the help of this gentleman sitting next to me, <laughs> plus my man Joe, and the rest of events to compete, dude. Like, yeah. they, they, I don't know. We, we reached out to them. We were like, you know what, man? I think we got something for Nebraska, but we need your guys' help. We can really put on something just aesthetically pleasing because we all know, man, as much as I love Nebraska, we have a pretty skewed history in, in terms of ho hosting, um, like, big regional and slash major events. And uh, I just think, like, with the track record that E2C has, I just think that they had the tools needed for us to host something pretty wonderful here today and yesterday and I guess the day before uh, at Portal, you know, right. pre-Nexus, so... I think it's definitely changed a lot of opinions on Nebraska's uh, scene. I think so. Everything's run very smoothly. I think the only reason that Dub started late today, which was the only thing to start late, was just because PM singles, there was a, um, everything was going to five games. Yeah. And you can't really prevent that. What no. are you supposed to do? Like, hey, we're going to change this to three games instead of five? Yeah, man. So uh, <laughs> screw your money. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, game three? Yeah, they already won, dude. It's over. <laughs> no, but seriously, though, um, these guys did a very awesome job here today. Um, you know, when I first, like, really got involved with LTL, I started broadcasting, I started commentating, and then, of course, you know, like, you know, Alex came along as well as you, and my, my biggest thing was, dude, I think we can host something good for Nebraska. Like, we can really give them what they've been missing. You know, I've hosted a few events here at the Ross Arena myself outside of Smash. I told them, hey, man, we got a premier venue. All we have to do is just get people in it. Just put people in this thing and host the tournament. Hey, man. Uh, almost a year later, here we are. Here we are. And this is definitely the start of something new, but we'll, let's get into this match. Greninja versus uh, Villager. Yeah. I don't know, did you see, happen to see Nev and Skilliger face off against uh, Dexter and... Who was his opponent? Um, Cinebu. Did you see that dubs match? No, but you know what though, when those two teams play against each other, um, you know, it, it can go 50-50. Cinebu is one of those guys, I just feel like it's, he's like a thorn in our side. A friendly thorn, though, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's kind of like Cody's uh, unspoken rival in a sense, you know. So the matches always go 50-50. Like, I remember at Roll Tier, Cody ended up beating him. But then I believe it was one of the MSKs or maybe Jester's Court. They saw here locally, Cinebu came and beat Cody. So, you know, they, they can go either way, especially in singles and doubles. I think the last time they actually played doubles together, though, MJG was teaming with Cinebu at that same Jester's okay. event. So, yeah. Oh, nice down throw. Okay, misses the fair, but opts right into the jabs. Trying to reset the neutral here. Good Ooh. down air, down air, up air. Ooh, okay. Ooh. If it wasn't for that ledge, things uh -oh. could have got a little ugly he's for Villager. Okay, I was going to say, he's going to have to recover high. Good pressure by MGG, as always. Yeah. MGG is just very optimal, just applying a lot of shield pressure. Um, especially with the character like Villager, you can do that from the other side of the room. I still want to see if Villager can grab the substitute and pocket it. <laughs> I still want to see if that's a thing. Dude, how cool would that be? Maybe secretly it's a one-hit knockout. Right. <laughs> In a perfect world. Oh. Oh, he's got this tree sprout. Oh, and it disappeared. Of course it disappeared. Now, how crazy would it be if Hydra Pump actually was the water needed? Oh, no. <laughs> oh. oh. Tried to snap the ledge, but unfortunately didn't. Didn't get the angle just right off by a few frames, but that's a difference maker. Yeah, did not, man. Now, Greninja, that's one of his biggest flaws. The fact that he doesn't snap ledge really leaves him open and vulnerable to get punished by characters like Villager. Man, Villager, I just, those soulless eyes just dropping a bowling ball on top of your head. <laughs> what can one do? 
I loved all the memes that came out when Villager was announced. Yeah. When, when he's just like ha smiling with Mario in the the fishing net. Oh, so good. Ooh. Oh, if he read this, the air dodge, that would have killed him. No, I think uh, is Greninja, he dead? I think, <laughs> right. Did, did Greninja faint? <laughs> Return Greninja. No, but <laughs> seriously, though, I think I think MJG is pretty up to date on the Greninja matchup. Uh, as I'm not sure if they have one in uh, in Kansas where he's from. He did spend a lot of time playing friendlies with Shinjobi at uh, Push More Buttons last month when I was there. So that might have been the download he needed for not only Shinjobi but Dexter as well. I think Shinjobi's, uh, or excuse me, Dexter's trying to go for a down tilt to forward air. But at this percent, I don't know if it'll be a true combo. Oh, what? Oh, what? What? And that is the issue with Greninja, though. I mean, he's a very, very strong character. He can rack on a lot of damage, but the issue is killing. You take uh, his Nair away from him, it can't confirm it's a fair. I mean, he does. If you read, if you uh, your opponent reads air dodges, I mean, you can't get your up smash going. I mean, there's just not a lot that Greninja can do in certain situations. So, so I don't know. If that was Greninja's flood pushing the tree away, mm -hmm. but it looked very close to hitting him. That it did. That it did. So, what I was saying earlier about uh, Sinibu and Dexter playing Nev and Skilliger, what happened was Skilliger and Dexter were one on one at 140 to 138%. I heard. And Skilliger was under, was looked like he was intentionally trying to pineapple himself. And then Dexter went down with a back air literally as the timer said one second. Seriously. And uh, won it. You're joking. No, it was it was unreal. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, I, Cody told me um, as I was sitting outside, I was out there doing a registration and things like that. Things I shouldn't be doing. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, who are you? No, but seriously, though. Uh, yeah, I was out there. He told me about how that went down. And I'm like, yeah, only when you play against Cineboo does weird stuff like that happen. So game two minus a platform in a larger stage. Yeah. I can see how this benefits Greninja. I can definitely see, man. He has a lot more room to move around. Not like on Smash, where his mobility is kind of limited. Oh, no. He says, sooner or later, these are going to uh. land, and you're going to miss that jab. Man, that was a wonderful setup by MJG. He was throwing the bowling ball down, and he was like, well, if you dodge this, you're going to get hit with the punching bag. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. One turn up on the dare right there. Nearly escapes. Oh, oh my goodness. His recovery options are immense here. This unmatched. The recovery the, options are good, but unfortunately it's 109 to 25%. That it is, man. But man, that uses a shadow sneak out there to stall his recovery out. True, Just, true. Oh my god. That's top level. Using the fact that he doesn't snap ledge and recovering from a distance. Man. You, you, can you know your character any better? That, that's what I need to know. Okay. Not gonna kill just yet, but he's planting the tree. Bad read right there. Now, MJG, man, has been going for some pretty ugly reads all week. Um, even all the way back to, like, Smash the Splash, too. Like, he was doing dubs. I mean, he caught so many forward Smash reads, it wasn't even funny. So I'd like to see him get some of those going here today. Maybe it's because he saw Fatality doing all these crazy reads with Captain Falcon. He's like, I'm going to try this. <laughs> but it's not as stylish with Villagers. <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh, back throw will do it. Catches a frog in his net. Yep, yeah, man. Throws him right into the blast zone. <laughs> so maybe that's where the bucket is out there. <laughs> I'm going to cook you later. I'm going to have some frog legs after this. Right. That's what it's looking like here. Okay. He comes back with a nice back air. Gets him on stage. Up throw. Doesn't get the up air. Now, Greninja is a character that needs those string of combos to really be played at a high level. Uh, obviously, up air. Auto canceled up air to up tilt. Footstools. All that, that type of noise. I mean, that's really right up Greninja's alley. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, he should be okay. Yay. Yeah, that was a that was pretty scary. I didn't expect to see him come back. Let's see how strong of a character Villager is at edge guarding you. Like Nair, Nair is enough oh, to really screw good him up. Good down tilt to up smash. But yeah, you're right. Nair is really good to, to um, for Villager and for Greninja. Absolutely, man. For Greninja, man, it works a little different. Definitely uses a combo tool though. He hasn't really been getting uh, Nair to fair. Oh my goodness. Ooh, got oh, good paces okay. right there. Reading the air dodge, and there's an up air. And for the first time, my man Dexter is leading his sets. I need this man to act like he just got second in PM today. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> like, I know there's no Greninja in there, but still. Now, he did have a crazy comeback in PM. I heard he was at 150% uh, with Meta Knight and still managed to pull something out with a crazy combo. Let's see if he's going to do the same thing here. Yeah. Okay, there's the Nair. Oh, again, if you read the air dodge. 
Oh my goodness. Up throw. Okay, does find an up air there. Still not going to be enough to kill, but why not tack on some uh, much needed percentage? Right. Wonderful pivot grab. Yeah, man, his reads right now are definitely starting to come out. Oh my uh -oh. goodness. Empty hop right there, forcing an air dodge and MJG not having any of that. That ledge gameplay, man, it's, it's too strong. Oh my oh. goodness. Oh, almost gets hit by the Lloyd Rocket. That would have put uh, Dexter in a very, very bad situa situation. That it would have. Oh, but these Three slingshots are. Stairs, yes, in a row. Oh, he was trying to give him the MJ tree at that point. Oh. Bad read right there on the forest smash, but does find himself getting a pivot grab. Wow. These guys right now pretty much on the edge of their seat this match. Greninja sitting at 115%. Has some solid rage on the side. The issue with him, though, is combos. They don't chain as well at high percents. Oh, Ooh. that was a good up tilt because um, that covers a lot of options. If you catch the roll and if you catch him jumping. Absolutely. It's a little bit of a read, but it's also the best thing to do in that situation. Avoids the tree, avoids the grab. No punish there, too. That grab is pretty lackluster. I don't, and I've seen a, a lot of villagers get away with that. They miss a grab and the characters are running away. I think they just never see that grab miss. Yeah. And they don't know how much end lag there is to it. Now keep in mind, man, Greninja, very strong character, has some pretty strong killing tools as well, like in terms of down tilt, up smash, nair, fair. <laughs> um, but <laughs> keep in mind, man, his up throw can take you out, man. <laughs> the substitute doll is just getting punched around. Yeah, his, his up throw is a very strong killing tool. But yeah, man, that substitute. <laughs> Well, it's, re it's really weird to see that, like, in here, because, like, I think the last game that Substitute was in was, like, Pokemon Stadium 2 or something. Now, will up throw kill at this percent on FD? Ooh, I don't well, think that answers my question. Yep. <laughs> Those are pretty strong. Pretty heavy, man. Why is Villager heavy? I mean, I assume he's carrying a lot of stuff. And oh! Yeah, gonna do it. Okay. okay, so a massive comeback. I think MJT was only at 40% when Dexter lost his first stock. So, good work there. Absolutely, man. Now, I mean, they won on Smashville. Or MJG won on Smashville, correct? Mm-hmm. You just won on FD. Where do you go next? I would think Band Battlefield. I'm thinking somewhere where platforms, man. I'm trying to get some up smashes. If, if I'm... If I'm Dexter, I would ban it. Yeah, I'm afraid because Villager would would benefit a lot from that. True. And you'd rather go to Dreamland because that could help Greninja with the up throw and up airs mm -hmm. kill earlier. True. My biggest issue is Greninja trying to use that up special hit to return back to stage, avoiding bowling balls and also not getting pineapple. That's true. That's true. Um, at least here, you know, I think he gets a few more killing options. I don't know if we were supposed to go here though. Uh oh. Nope. Oh. Unless they're doing a character change. Yeah, I but think they're doing a character change. Are we going to see the Toon Link from MJG? Or is this not the right stage? Um, to, I, I've, I've talked to a lot of Toon Link players, and they prefer less platforms. Okay. So okay. I think maybe they picked the wrong, a uh, different stage, unless Dexter wants to do a character change. Okay. Oh. Or a yeah. color change. Color change on the counter pick. Yeah, you got to counter pick the costumes. Man, and my boy Pollo back there singing, I want to rock with you. He's just, yeah. <laughs> just rock, lean with it, rock with it back there. <laughs> That's what he's listening to on his phone right now. Right, he has to be. We will rock you, he said. <laughs> rock you like a hurricane. Right, oh no. <laughs> For all you Scorpion fans out there. All right, let's go ahead and get right into this one now. Greninja, man, like I was mentioning earlier, gets a little bit more in, in terms of uh, killing options opening up. Now he gets that wonderful up smash through that platform. The tipper part at that, too. Has to get the good read on it. Okay, there's a Lloyd Rocket trying to mix up his uh, approach options. Like yesterday and Friday, I seen him use the smoke from the Lloyd Rocket exploding as coverage to roll behind you. <laughs> oh. And pivot grab you. I'm like, MJG, can you know your character any better, my brother? I've never even thought of that as an option because sometimes I'll get lost when I'm seeing Villager on stage. I'm like, wait, where did he go? It was a Lloyd Rocket. And he's using the Lloyd Rocket as a great defensive tool. That he is. Okay. There it is. Oh, and almost takes the Shuriken. I think he's going to want to try to pocket that Sturgeon. And it's okay for uh, Dexter to throw that out uh, now. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be a riskier later. That it is. Now, how much of the Shuriken does that have to be powered up to 
explode the Lloyd rocket, you know? Pretty much, I'd like to think all the way. It's a good question. I, I know Villager is really gunning for those uh, charge of shurikens to be thrown because obviously if he takes it, pocket it, and then throw it back like twice as hard. So, I don't know. Like yesterday and Friday, I seen Dexter and Shinjobi get some pretty crazy kills with that shuriken off stage. I mean, literally baiting your air dodge, charging it up, and just tossing it all the way. I mean, just... The, oh my goodness, the Greninja gameplay is on point. Now, I, I'm guessing that both these players know that uh, Villager's down air is going to beat, excuse me, Greninja's up air. Because every time I try to see a Grenin uh, Greninja go in for an up air, yes. Villager's throwing that down air, and Greninja just doesn't even try to throw it out. Doesn't Absolutely. even try to trade. Yeah, definitely not, dude. Oh! And had the solid read right there. He tried to use the tree to extend the hitbox on it so possibly he could catch Villager uh, slipping, but it just wasn't able to get it to connect there. It's that substitute again. Now, what he could do is uh, throw the shuriken when Villager is close to the substitute. Maybe we'll find out if he gets pocketed or not. Now, this could be a bad spot for Greninja to be in if he gets caught off stage. He has much more ground to try to recover. And with the character like Villager, who can literally go all the way to the abyss to kill you, Greninja is going to find himself in a really rough spot. But though he is doing a good job of staying on stage despite being smacked around by these fairs and Lloyd Rockets. Oh, wonderful directional counter. Now, that was insane. That was, yeah, that was pretty crazy, man. Now, Villager... Still hanging in there because even with the without rage, he doesn't really have to do too much approaching. I mean, right. yeah, he has Nair up close, but for the most part, it seems like fair and backer seem to be his bread and butter. And if he can kind of just chip them, uh, chip Greninja out, try to put this match back into his uh into his speed. I mean, he definitely has the tools to obviously run away with this, but I know it's a lot easier said than done because Greninja literally is all over the place. He has a lot more room to run around here. I like the mix-ups that Greninja's uh, doing with those counters. Um, the last time he did, he actually came straight from above, and MJG stayed in shield the whole time because he didn't know where Greninja was going. But good job by MJG to get the back throw for the kill. Yeah, man, I didn't quite think that was going to kill. I mean, yeah, Greninja had quite a bit of damage on him, but there was literally no rage on my boy Villager. Oh, it's <laughs> it kind of sent him, sent him sky oh. high, man. Say hi to Team Rocket for me up there. Okay. And they're doing the same thing that they did at the start of the match, just staying away from each other, trying to get some chips, nothing, nothing too crazy, no no combo strings right now. Absolutely not. And yeah, if MJG is smart, he played this one on the safer side too. Uh oh. Okay, gets the up throw, does find a way to sneak an up air in there, there we go. My boy Dexter is finally starting to wake up in this set, man. He started out the first match pretty slow, here he is. Oh, getting back those slingshots. Three, three of them, four, four of them. Back air, Bowling ball. Oh. Great. Oh. Very strong read right there by MJG. Just literally running into the opponent, man. Trying to catch a roll, if anything. Now, tournament nerves can do that to players. Oh, yeah. Where they just do a, a risky roll. Oh. Good tech by MJG to avoid the up smash. Absolutely, man. That was... Oh, yeah, you can't yeah. you can't stay spike villager until like twelve thousand percent, but that up smash right. through that platform is exactly what I was talking about here in the set. He does have thirty six percent lead with a minute seven left. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go, man. Gets a nice dare. Oh, sneaks into upper MJG slowly but surely bring this one oh. back. Bad read right there on the forward smash. But was it was a good shielded. read. It was a good read because, um, or wasn't exactly a read because. Greninja fell down from the, his up special. There just was little to no end lag. Oh! He had the right idea, man. That forward smash comes out very quickly. Uh, but he's seen once it got shielded, he just went right into the jab. So and he, he lost his punished. jump. Oh! I, mean, I know he's uh, thanking the smash guys right now. Back throw. We still living right now. Oh, oh no, the tree! Oh. Catches him from below. Dang. Wonderful it's stuff there. Wow. And the man in the Jimi Hendrix shirt is out. Goodness gracious, God Almighty. A complete turnaround. That was. Dexter had a, uh, a good lead, not a large one, but MJG was just able to tack on those slingshots. So now we're going to get some more singles action. Let's see where the bracket's going. Let me those top. Oh my goodness. Okay. Two. All right. I think we're killing that. 
Looks like I'm here for a while, man. Okay. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, I got top eight uh, singles later on, so we'll be all right. We'll be all right, man. We'll be okay. Ooh. Ah.